Dear partners, thanks to your support, the gospel is being spread all over the world. Beloved partners, we would like to thank you for allowing this broadcast to come out. Your support allows the anointing to move in all nations. You know, fortune telling is a common problem. Almost every individual either practices it himself or turns to fortune tellers at some point in his life. My friends, this is really evil. When a fortune teller tries to predict something, now listen to me, she's not really capable of making any predictions. The thing is that demons don't know the future. All they know are the things that are written about them in the Bible, that they will end up in hell. But a fortune teller doesn't predict anything. Instead, she orders things to come. So when the fortune teller uses words like long ride or big house, listen, those things will really happen, but not because the fortune teller predicted them. None of those things would have ever happened, but you came to that fortune teller and submitted yourself to her power, and by doing it, you led the demon the spirit who lives inside her take over. That is why everything the fortune teller says will come to pass because you accepted it. The very fact that you came to her and allowed her to speak into your life means that you committed some kind of a spiritual act. You can spell it out the following way. I accept everything you tell me and believe that it will manifest in my life. This is the reason fortune telling will inevitably end up in a demonic control in the person's life. That is why people around us are going through terrible ordeals, divorces, catastrophes, diseases, imprisonment, drugs, death. It's all because the devil has the right to prophesy. But who gave him that right? People did. There is no teaching about it. Did you hear me? Unbelievers just go to those fortune tellers and they have no idea that they are allowing the devil to speak and speak and speak. But do you know what the church does? It allows the Holy Spirit to speak and speak and speak. So today, our responsibility is to spread the gospel to every country of the former Soviet Union. Amen. And those people who say nasty things about us don't even understand that we speak good words, words of blessing. And those words are from God. Those are words of healing and deliverance that destroy everything the devil did. And after that, God's things come. Who will we allow to speak into our life? God, of course. Say, God, hallelujah. We will let him speak. And everything the devil said is going to be destroyed. Today you are a potential group leader. You need to know that when you return home and see a cell group movement in your life, you will need to do some important things. First of all, destroy all the words that the devil spoke into people's lives. Amen. We are not merely listening to this teaching for our own sake, but we want this teaching to affect our ministry. Say amen. Next thing. Believing in superstitions. You need to believe that superstitions are horrible, too. When the person is superstitious, he believes in some omens, and they come to pass. That's right, they believe because those things come to pass. But why is that the case? The thing is that there are demons behind every omen. So when a person believes in an omen, his heart is filled with fear. Fear is behind almost every omen. You won't have any luck. Something will go wrong. Something is not going to work. 
and so on. Let us say the person has left his house, but then he realizes that he has forgotten something, so he has to come back. So the person believes that he needs to look at himself in the mirror, because if he doesn't, he will have bad luck. Or a person sees a cat cross the road. Perhaps the cat is not even quite black, but there is a fear anyway. That is why you'd better grab your belt. The meaning behind every omen is that if you do a certain thing, something bad is going to happen. People are superstitious on the inside. So they will say, no, I don't really believe in any of those things. But you know, just in case. You know, when people really suffer from this problem, they will never pass you any money at night. As for Christians, however, you can do it both at night and during the day. I'm talking primarily about accepting money. That will work even better. Amen. And it works for giving money away, too. I know how sacrificial you are. So listen, any superstitious person is controlled by some demons, even though he may not be aware of it. But sooner or later, the demons will affect the person's mind and his life situations. This is the reason I'm telling you those things. And I urge you to start teaching the same to your cell group members right away. They should never live in fear. They need to stop believing in omens. Instead, they need to start believing in blessings that God has bestowed upon them. Dear partners, thank you for your faithfulness. Many people experience the power of God because of you today. Vladimir Muntan's ministry is the ministry that brings new free life and also gives the opportunity to be happy and a healthy person.